right, so we're looking at a, uh, apparently this looks like a hole from a borer. And this is an avocado tree. You see that fine dust? That's what that is. This is like a dust that's on the exterior of the bark. And in the center, there's a little tiny little pinhole. We're going to explore this. And I suspect this is a borer. And this may be an ambrosia beetle or a relative of an ambrosia beetle, some type of a beetle. There is a beetle that's called a shot hole borer. And then there is the beetle that brings laurel wilt disease to avocado trees. And I hope that this Haas avocado tree does not have an insect in there, an ambrosia beetle to be specific. Um, because if it does, then this tree is probably trash and I have to get rid of it. Well, let's take a look inside. All right, so I scraped away a bit of the exterior bark and looking at the center there, there is a small crack in there and I'm going to go ahead and expose that a little bit more and see what we can find. You can, well, <clears throat> you can clearly see right there, we got quite a hole in that tree. And it's right into the tree, right there in the center. So far, I don't see a beetle. But I see this red, this kind of a reddish discoloration. And as I continue to peel away at this bark and I investigate deeper, I noticed it pretty clean on that side. But right here, right in the center, and then coming up a little higher, there is definitely something going on right here it doesn't seem to go any further but it went in pretty deep you can see that red line that comes straight up then as we look up here You'll notice right here we have that white powder also, which if it's an ambrosia beetle or some type of a beetle similar to ambrosia beetle, they do carry fungus uh, spores in their mouths, and that's what transmits the diseases uh, to the trees. Now, I understand that they can transmit fusarium, and they can also transmit laurel wilt disease. I'm going to scrape the top over here and see what I find over in this area right here. All right, so here's where we are now. We've scraped uh, quite a bit off this area here, and I know I don't see any uh, actual hole in there. It was more like there's a crack. So there was a crack in here, hairline crack. It doesn't go any deeper than, than this, uh, and I don't see any evidence of any, any beetle in there. Uh, if we go up in this area here, we look down in here, I already went in, and in that area, what I did is I, I had that white powder also on the surface. I cleaned this out pretty good, and it goes in about that deep. But there's no continuation and there's no insect in here at all. Uh, so judging from what I'm seeing here, um, you know, we may have some kind of uh, fungus that's internal to the tree. Uh, that was showing the signs of that white powder on the exterior which a lot of times resembled well I should say from what I've read and what I've seen it kind of resembled uh, what's called a shot hole borer um, spot and sometimes the trees will get them all over 
branches and on the trunk. Now from what I've read, that shot hole borer uh, and the ambrosia beetle, as I said earlier, are related types of beetles. Uh, one carries uh, fusarium and the other one carries laurel wilt. Now this tree, if it was laurel wilt, would have gotten infected and probably would have died very quickly. That's what happens with laurel wilt. The tree completely wilts and then all the leaves dry. So give me your opinion. What do you think we were, what do you think we might be dealing with here? I've also inspected the branches individually. This is a small tree. It's a small hoss tree. It's not big. So it was fairly easy to go throughout and inspect it and check all the branches. And I didn't see any white powder or any indication of frass coming out of any of the wood on the branches. So I don't think the tree's got any kind of an illness, anything serious, but I would like your opinion, what you think might be going on. Haas avocado tree, let me back away a little bit so you can see better what the tree looks like. Young Haas avocado, and my concern was that this tree was coming down with damage from a borer. All right, everybody, give us a couple of comments. Let us know what you think. If you like this kind of video, if you have any comments, leave them below. Maybe subscribe to our channel and uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks.